Oh, it feels weird. It feels weird. I don't even think that's in the center, but something's happening. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to share the 2021 fashion trends that I personally hate and do not plan to wear. I actually did this over on my Instagram and polled you guys, and it was really fun to get your feedback on the current trends as well. And I honestly wasn't surprised by y'all's opinions because I figured if you're following me, you probably have a very similar style to me and we're internet friends for a reason. So most of us were all on the same page with these as well. Are there any trends that you absolutely hate or are there trends that you're kind of on board with and plan to try out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now remember, this video is all in good fun. So if you are a fan of these fashion trends, do not take it personally. Everyone has a different personal style. I have never been one to really even follow fashion trends or change my style that drastically is stayed very similar throughout the years but i personally really like that because i know what works in my wardrobe what doesn't and i feel like overall that has helped me build a wardrobe i love if you're wanting to learn more about your personal style i would definitely recommend subscribing here to my channel but also downloading my wardrobe guide it runs through how to define your style what pieces i consider essentials and all of the good stuff basically everything you need to know about building a wardrobe is in that so i will link that download down below if you haven't checked it out yet all right so let's get started with the 2021 fashion trends i hate all right first let's talk about white sneakers they have become progressively more and more popular through the years and in particular i feel like they've gotten extra chunky like year after year so one of the trends right now are i guess what people call dino shoes i wasn't really familiar with this trend but a lot of you guys referred it to that and essentially, I mean these types of sneakers. Definitely not my particular style. For one, I don't like when there's a lot of attention that is drawn to my shoe. So I typically keep it very clean and classic in my shoe choices. Another big white sneaker trend right now is like the dirty kind of golden goose styled sneaker. And I feel like you really have a love-hate relationship with golden goose, although the majority of you definitely hated it especially considering the price point, but I do hear they are very comfortable. So I actually ordered my first pair. I'm gonna be trying them on and reviewing them in an upcoming white sneaker review. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you're subscribed. So I haven't necessarily jumped on board with the Golden Goose sneakers. I feel like they are definitely a little out of my comfort zone to spend on a white sneaker, but I will keep you guys updated on that. When I asked your opinion on the Golden Goose sneakers over on Instagram, 83% of you hated them and 17% loved them. And I wasn't surprised by this because, you know, if you ask my friend, my best friend actually has like a million pairs of golden goose and she wears them all the time. I'm sure if she pulled her audience, it would be a much different number, you know? So take that all with a grain of salt. And while we're at it, I figured I'd show you guys the two pairs of golden goose that I picked up to try. First is their superstar, which is the most popular version of the golden goose. I I feel like so I got the rose gold which I felt like out of the majority of the options I saw this was the closest to my personal style because it didn't have a ton to it like it wasn't craziness to it but I also wanted to try the pure star I heard from some of you that these were way more comfortable and I can see why they have a little more padding and they are a clean white sneaker so these are the two I'll be trying. And in the same sense, another big trend that I have seen a lot over the last year is incorporating casual shoe styles such as white sneakers with very girly feminine dresses. And you also see that very commonly these days mixed with more of a combat boot style, specifically the chunky sole boots I have been seeing a lot lately. There's versions from Sam Edelman, Steve Madden, but the most popular brand I feel like is the Doc Martin. Definitely not in my personal style for one. Again, I'm not really a huge fan of chunky boots. I feel like they look kind of uncomfortable and heavy and chunky to walk in, but I wouldn't know because I have not tried them. Another major trend, especially right now, is the revamp of like very large scrunchies, but also the very large alligator clips. And it's kind of funny because these haven't really gone anywhere, at least in my personal life. I wrap my hair up in a scrunchie every single night to sleep and it helps prevent creases and I feel like just helps my hair last a little bit longer in between washes because it gets it off my neck. But I also have like alligator clips for sectioning off my hair or just throwing up my hair if I don't want to crease it, things like that. 
but right now we're definitely seeing it more as like a fashion statement and it's funny because I shared a very large like bow scrunchie and a old express video and it was one of the most shopped items from that video personally I don't hate this trend but I actually don't really wear my hair up if I'm out and about unless it's just like a very basic ponytail so not really sure if I plan to incorporate this look or not but let me know your thoughts Another major beauty trend that is just not for me are super long nails. People are very much into the long almond shaped nails, the coffin nails, all the designs, all the things. And personally, I am very traditional when it comes to nail. I actually just have been rocking my plain normal nails, but I just kind of got over the maintenance of doing them constantly. So I'm just kind of taking a break from that. But the long nails, you guys, I tried it last fall. I lasted a week. Had to go back to the salon and have them <laughs> remove them because I could not deal. It was very inconvenient to type on the computer, type on my phone. It would like make the noises. I felt like I had legit claws. Like I was Edward Scissors. <laughs> scissor hands. Looks great on my friends, but personally, function definitely is more important. So the vast majority of you guys agreed on the long nails. 94% of you said, heck to the no, cannot do the long nails. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This has been a big internet debate lately. It's essentially the millennials versus Gen Z, and that is whether or not the side part is in or out. And it's kind of weird to me because I don't really see this as a fashion trend. I think it majorly depends on your face shape. If you have cowlick, a lot of factors play into where your part should be. But before we move into this topic, I just want to clarify that millennials rocked the middle part. Like that's essential when it comes to our childhood in the 90s. Like the guys wore a center part. I wore a center part all the way through into high school. So just want to clarify that y'all aren't the first people to rock a center part. But I do think the excessive over exaggerated side part that we saw probably 10 years ago with the swoop bangs. I think that's more so kind of phasing out. So I do have a side part, but I feel like through the years, it's gotten a little bit closer to the center, but not directly in the center. And I feel like the center part looks better when you have like that messy beachy look, but I don't really wear my hair like that often. So I have a feeling today is not gonna be a good day to test it just with how my hair is styled with the Dyson Airwrap. It's not really the same vibe, you know, but let's try it. Oh, it feels weird. It feels weird. I don't even think that's in the center, but something's happening. It's like right in the middle of my cowlick, so good times. <laughs> not sure what's happening over here. Like my hair is just not wanting to go that way. It's like, what are you doing to me? But here's the center part. What do you think? It feels very, I feel very unbalanced. My hair is just not accepting it. Okay. So when it comes to the side part, the majority of you were definitely sticking with it. Again, I don't think it's necessarily in or out as far as fashion is concerned, but I do think the aggressive swoopy side bang situation where it like went in front of your face is definitely not seen as much anymore. All right, back to the fashion trends. Another one I want to mention is the flared legging. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the flared legging is called a yoga pant. They're the same thing. Like, why are we calling it something different? They are yoga pants. <laughs> I think these have kind of made a return because like flare jeans and bigger jeans are coming back and we will get to that trend, don't you worry. All I can say about this trend, like I don't really necessarily plan to rock it because I have more than enough leggings in my wardrobe after 2020, my, my drawer cannot handle anymore, you know? But at least they don't say like, pink and rhinestones across the butt, you know? If you know, you know. Back when we were, flared leggings. Yeah, we just love to like draw attention to our butt for whatever reason and I'm glad that that's not back. <laughs> Another main reason that I don't really have any plans to try out this trend is because when I wear leggings out of the house, I usually like to wear either like a white sneaker if I'm going very casual or I kind of dress them up with a boot, which would not work with a flared pant option. I do not see myself wearing that with like Adidas We've been there, done that, and I just, I'm just not ready to go back. <laughs> when I asked y'all your opinion over on Instagram about the flared leggings, yes, I'm still using quotations, <laughs> don't know why, <laughs> the yoga pants, 81% of you said that you were sticking with your regular classic skinny legging, and 19% of you were into the trend. 
All right, next fashion trend is the grandpa cardigan. And these have kind of switched to be more of a top versus a cardigan. You don't really see them as much these days kind of styled over a shirt. They are typically your shirt. I just feel really frumpy when I try a cropped cardigan. They seem to be very boxy. Just, I think with my body type, I just haven't loved them on me. I don't hate it though. I don't hate it as much as some of the other fashion trends. But in contrast, the next fashion trend, I absolutely hate. And that is the shacket. I honestly don't even like the word. When I hear it, it almost is like, nails on a chalkboard to me. So if you haven't heard of the shacket, it is essentially a shirt jacket. And we saw these boom throughout the fall season. People were wearing like flannel options, which is even worse in my opinion. I have never been a big fan of like flannel button down shirts or collared shirts. So I feel like this is just taking that trend to an extreme and making it a thicker material and even boxier. So for me, this one is definitely a big no, but if you are curious to check out the shacket, I will link some not so offensive options down below. I actually did come across this one today at Walmart and for the first time I was considering adding it to my cart. I think I might have. So maybe I'll try it. Stay tuned for a free assembly haul. Um, it's a new brand at Walmart coming up in the next couple weeks. Maybe that will change my opinion a little bit, but I probably won't call it a shacket because I don't like it. So when I asked your opinion on the shacket over on Instagram, this one was still a landslide, but it was a little bit closer than other trends. 61% of you were not into it and 39% of you love the shacket. Next fashion trend that I have not jumped on the bandwagon is the tie dye trend. And this was actually the only trend on my Instagram poll where the majority of you liked it. So that 57% of you loved the fashion trend and 43% absolutely hated it. I wouldn't say I hate it, but I feel like it doesn't fit my personal style and I really just didn't jump on the bandwagon with this trend. It became majorly popular at the beginning of quarantine and I think it's a great like activity for kids and things like that. But if you are into this trend, I will round up some tie-dye options that I recently came across for you down in the description box below. All right, let's talk about jeans. This has been another touchy subject, I feel like, between millennials and Gen Z. Sorry, I almost said Jay-Z, not sure why. Are skinny jeans out? Do we need to move on? For me, I feel like skinny jeans are always gonna be in my wardrobe. I think they're very flattering on my body type and they're just comfortable. Like normally they're very stretchy, you know, jeggings, all of that good stuff. But I will say it kind of hurt a little bit that one of you actually said that apparently Gen Z considers the skinny jean the new mom jean. And from what I remember as the mom jean growing up, that is now like the cool jean. And I was like, so the newer, like trendier version of jeans are the wider leg, a very baggy, high-waisted look. I don't really plan to jump on this trend for when I'm pregnant, so I have really no plans to wear jeans probably for the next year, but who knows? I don't necessarily hate the mom jean or the slight bagginess to jeans, but they have to fit really well. Like, I feel like they're kind of hard to shop for. There's only one pair in my wardrobe that I absolutely love. They are always sold out and as soon as they restock, they go again. So it's not just me who loves them. I will link that pair that I'm talking about down below as well as have some outfits for you here of me wearing that particular pair. But these jeans in particular, like they give a looser look, but they're still very flattering. They fit really well in the hips. Um, I like where they hit in the waistline. They, I am definitely not into the like parachute looking jeans. Like I don't, I just don't see myself ever trying those. But if you are kind of wanting to not necessarily give up your skinny jeans, but lean a little bit more towards the current on trend jeans, I would recommend trying out more of a relaxed straight jean just to kind of transition. It's kind of like a good in between there. So when I pulled you guys on Instagram, 53% of you loved the mom jean and 47% said you are sticking solely to the skinny jean. Now, again, when I say mom jean, I'm not necessarily referring to the current on trend, like super baggy jean. They're definitely different because I kind of like the mom jean, but I don't like the, the baggy jeans. But I do think a skinny jean is very classic. Like I really don't see it going anywhere personally, at least in my wardrobe. So when I specifically asked whether or not the skinny jean is in or out, 88% of you were saying it is sticking in your wardrobe and 12% of you are over the skinny jean. 
Another major fashion trend that I feel like a lot of these honestly remind me of like Hailey Bieber style. I feel like she kind of really led the way when it comes to a lot of these fashion trends and I think she can totally rock all of the trends but we clearly have different styles. <laughs> Another trend I see her wear often and again is really popular is the biker short. This would just be for like functional reasons. Like if I'm cleaning the house in the dead of summer and I don't wanna wear leggings or shorts, then maybe I'd wear a biker short or to work out in. But as far as wearing them out of the house with dino shoes and baggy shirts, like no. 34% of you love them, 66% of you were just not into the biker short. Another fashion trend that is really big right now, we started seeing it last year, and that is the crop top. And you will see the crop top tanks. I've been seeing those recently. A lot of like crop loungewear sets have been in, which I guess loungewear sets are kind of a trend as well, which I am very much on board with, but I'm not gonna be rocking any crop top options, that's for sure, especially with a growing belly. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. Those are the 2021 fashion trends I personally hate and do not plan to wear, but I'd love to hear your feedback down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That helps support my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit the subscribe button. I share two to three fashion videos here every single week. Although if you liked all of these fashion trends, you probably won't like my try on hauls, but you know, you can subscribe anyway. We can still be friends, you know? Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later this week with a new fashion video.